here at the Weizmann Institute Center for Biomedical Engineering, when COVID started, we thought that this is a great opportunity to reach out and understand what could be the needs in the hospitals that we can help with. We know that today people use PCR tests, however, the detection rate is only around 70%. And it could take many hours or even many days until you get the result. It's a very lengthy process. The best way to visualize COVID is using CT, but the problem is that CT is not scalable, right? There's not too many machines around. It's very difficult to disinfect, so that the process is very lengthy. Today, the method of choice in Israel is using X-ray. X-ray machines are relatively portable. You can move them around, and they're easier to disinfect so that you could get the images faster. In X-ray and CT, we see what's known as ground glass opacity. So you really see like these white areas within the images. It's not always easy to determine what they're coming from. It's not only an indicative of COVID-19. It could be a flu patient or other lung diseases. But then this is where the computer helps in the analysis in trying to determine whether it's COVID-19 or not. We put together a remarkable team of doctors, physicians, and image analysis experts, data science experts, to try and target the imaging analysis of COVID-19 patients. We collaborated with various hospitals throughout Israel, Ta'emek, Sharet Tzedek, Belinson, and the Galilee Medical Center to put this uh, database together. And now that we have all of these images of COVID-19 patients and healthy patients, we're working to both extract features using image analysis techniques based on the clinician's input and what they know about the disease, and also deep learning and artificial intelligence to sift through and learn from all of these images what are the important features that predict disease, that determine the severity of the disease. If we do the correct analysis, then the patient comes in, you can image them right away, and run the algorithms and get a result right away. Today, with our methods, we're able to get around a 90% detection rate. Our goal, together with the clinicians, is as soon as we get satisfactory detection rate and that they are able to challenge our algorithm with the hard images and get good results, which we're doing in the upcoming days, is really to deploy this in the hospital setting. And later on, we hope to move to community settings. So one of the things that we're really excited about is particularly in the area of ultrasound. It is much quicker, much more portable, and it's very easy to disinfect. The difficulty with ultrasound is that it's much harder to see the lungs due to the air, and therefore the analysis is much more difficult. We believe that the research generated by COVID-19 will help ultrasound be more prevalent, and in particular, using ultrasound for lung diseases more generally, not necessarily only for COVID-19. The same is true, of course, for any algorithm that we develop, and we hope that this will open the door to the use of artificial intelligence more generally in imaging within the hospitals and in the communities. It's been truly an amazing experience. Everyone is totally dedicated. We have talks up to the middle of the night, doctors calling from within the wards. It feels very rewarding to be able to work with such an amazing team of volunteers who are so dedicated and everybody is really working for the benefit of patients and are truly concerned with the benefit of patients. Nobody's doing this for any other reason. We've also got a lot of help from the Weizmann Institute. We're using the computing services here to make sure that we maintain the data in the most private way and sorting through it in a remarkable way thanks to the entire institute being devoted to this cause.